Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick video on how to assign a third switch to toggle the NASA into failsafe. Um, I'm using the FHTH9X um, or Turnigy 9X, the same radio pretty much. Uh, right there. And I have assigned a throttle hold switch to kick the NASA into failsafe. I have my three-way switch here for attitude, manual, and failsafe. But I wanted to assign a third switch, this one right here, throttle hold. So I am able to kick it into failsafe with that, you know, and it, it won't matter what flight mode I'm in. So here it goes. I'm in my wife's room, by the way, so you can tell by the pink background and the laptop. Anyways, right now I'm on attitude. Uh, see how to do this. Middle would be manual. You can see back there. And the third is failsafe. So that's on my three position switch. And on my throttle hold, once I flick that, it'll go to failsafe so I'm on attitude right now I'm gonna go to manual as you can see it's in manual and when I flip that switch straight to failsafe alright that'll that way I don't have to mess with this switch to be able to kick it into failsafe all I have to do is flip this one switch and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now first thing you do is go to menu okay there you go and then go to your throttle hold enter make sure you activate it right now it's inhibited make sure it's activated ACT press menu to save it then go over to your pitch curve menu and then right now on my three-way switch as you can see see it's switching um, modes right now and on throttle hold when I flip it I have it on 28 that's the value for getting into failsafe. So that's what you have to do. Make sure you have the switch on the up on position and it'll say hold and you need to set from low all the way to high 28 all the way across. And Once you're done with that hit menu and that'll save it then back out. So next time you hit your throttle hold, it'll go straight to failsafe. Just wanted to do a quick video, just in case you guys were wondering how to do that. Alright, thanks for watching.